Let me give you some indices uh, examples. So uh, how would we go about tidying up these two? So to do this, um, here you've got one block, here you've got one block, plus another block. So uh, we don't understand what it means to have a power of a negative 2. So we would jump to 1 over 3 to the power of the positive version. It's one of the laws that you're supposed to know by heart. Um, let's say x to the power of negative 3. We don't understand what it means to have a power of a negative 3. We would immediately jump to 1 over x to the power of the positive version. So I'm expecting you to know this. Uh, here, we don't understand what it means to have a power of a negative a half. So we would Im immediately jump to 81. Uh, we would immediately jump to uh, 1 over 1 over 81, 81 to the power of the positive version. Now, to the power of a half, to the power of a half, that's the same as the square root. So that's really the same as square root of 81. What is the square root of 81? It is 9. 9 times 9 is 81. So that there will just become the number 9. So now um, now let's tidy this up. 3 squared is 9. Oh, what a coincidence. The two denominators are the same. So we can just immediately add up these two fractions. So, so um, top plus top, that will be 2 over 9. This here is your final answer for this. Okay? So now for this one here, um, in... Uh, in math, well, you, you've got one block plus another block. Whenever you're working with fractions, uh, try to get the two denominators to be the same. So let's imagine this as being let's imagine this as being over one. So now we, we want the two denominators to be the same. So we would times top and bottom here by by the same thing. That same thing happens to be root two because we want the two denominators to be the same. So let's um, let's just leave this block as it is. So that would be 3 over uh, root 2. This block here, when you times sub on bottom by by 2, uh, by root 2, uh, here you've got one block times another block times another block. These two blocks are the same. Square root of 2 times the square root of 2, that is 2. So hang on, 5. When, when you merge these two roots together, that would become a block of 2 because root root 2 squared is 2. So when you merge these two together, it will just become the number 2. And then uh, now 1 times root 2, that would be root 2. Oh, what a coincidence, the two denominators are the same. So you can just add the numerators. So uh, that would be, the denominator stays the same. And then it just really boils down to 3 plus, merging these two together would be 10. So it's 3 plus 10 is 13. So the final answer would be, 13 over root 2. So this whole thing here equals uh, 13 over root 2. Okay?